What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Okay, so in our last battle, or episode, we got ourselves our sixth badge right here in the Kalos region. Pretty quickly, yeah. Very, 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 very quickly. And, uh, let's see, it was against a fairy-type dream leader. Her name is Valerie. She was pretty cute, very awesome, very nice lady. That's right. And so, now it is time for us to continue our adventure right here in the first city. Now, first is first, we kind of need to teach a, a good old Pokemon a new move right here. That is Dazzling Gleam, a very, very powerful fairy-type Pokemon move. Kind of, like, along the lines of, uh, you know, Thunder, Flamethrower, uh, what else? Flamethrower. Thunder, Flamethrower, and you guys know what I'm talking about. So, there it is, we're teaching the Pokemon the move. Yes, sir, look at that. Look at that. Okay, so it has a new move. Now it is time for us to go to the Pokeball Factory because apparently there is something going on over there. Our friends just met up with us and, well, as soon as we get oh, close to the Pokemon Factory, or Pokeball Factory, yeah, we get a little bit of a ruckus right here. Wait, hold on. What are you guys doing? What is going on? Who hurt you? He'll let us in. You'll see. I'll go talk to him again. Oh, wow. She is a daredevil. Shauna, wait! And she is uh, running away. Okay, so, uh, well. Oh, the other girlfriend's here. Hello, hello. Did Shawnee and Travis go off running now? What's the deal? We were supposed to meet here, too. I wonder what, what the, I wonder what the matter is. Ink! Uh-oh. Something's going on. And she's running away, and, whoa, whoa hold on. He's running, whoa, hold on. What is, uh, what is going on here? Huh. 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 Hmm. What's going on? Well, I guess we we should go help him. And the other girlfriend's like Team Flare. There might be something happening inside. Let's check it out while we're while the guard is gone. Okay. Well, maximum effort. I guess we're gonna have to be the heroes yet again. It's no biggie because uh, yeah, we're used to being heroes now. Before we do that, there is quite a few items around here somewhere. I don't know. Well, we should get them like right afterwards. Hold on. Kind of want to get the items first, and it starts to rain, so that could be something. Now, you could get items right here. I think through an item finder. So, um, eventually, I'm gonna have to go back here and grab those items. So, let's go get the visible items. Bam. And let's see. There's another one on the other side of this whole factory right here. Look at that. It's raining. It's boring. The old man is snoring. Bumped his head, broke his neck. They found him dead in the morning. That's how I learned it. Alrighty, hold on just a sec. Uh, let's go right here. Right here. Hold on. Right here. Nope, not right there. And there it is. Grabbed in ourselves our max ether, which is good. Now, let's go ahead and get the heck out of here. Let's see. Let's see, what the hell am I doing? Damn it. Right here. So, here we are in the Pokemon Pokeball factory, and there is something going on. Team Flare has been going in here, and here is a Team Flare member. Uh-oh, here's the theme song. Can't that idiot outside even handle guard duty? Oh, damn. So sorry, but we're not offering tours right now. Oh, damn. With a red suit like that, you must be a member of Team Flare, right? Did you have a boy to take a part-time job to at a Pokeball factory to pay uh, for that ugly suit? Oh damn! <laughs> Girlfriend's got hey, she's got she she's got some words. Damn! What? How dare you mock Team Flare? Mighty Anna, get him! I'll take care of this. You go on ahead. That's right, guys. Get yourself a girlfriend who knows how to talk back, who knows how to clap back. That's right. This is a girlfriend for me. Alrighty, so let's move on right here. As you can see, uh, it's no easy task. This guy's gonna be blocking the way. I'm a nameless team player, like Grunt. I've yet to make a name for myself. Well, continue doing, continue being that way because uh, you're not gonna make a name right here. So here he comes out with a uh, toxic croak, and I'm coming out with our good old buddy right here, Godzilla, Godzilla, and. That Toxic Grove looks like he's ready to fight, so let's go ahead and use that Fly Attack. Let's get it. And that Fly Attack, what does it do? It gets it. Toxic Grove has been deleted. There we go. Alrighty. So there we go, Team Flare has been defeated. I'm feeling good about that stuff. Look at that. I'm, feel I'm looking good with the, with the threads right there, too. 
Alrighty, so we can't go anywhere right there. So now we're gonna have to go up and move on ahead right here. And well, let's go ahead and give some more experience points to other Pokemon that we have right here, like a good old buddy uh, Bonesaw right here. We didn't see him in the last episode because yes, Fairy type Pokemon. Yeah, no effect, no freaking effect. So here we go, another Team Flare member wanting to battle us, and here's a uh, Mightyena, not so. Uh, yeah, that's right. Not so freaking, uh, not so freaking tough right here. So here we go. Bone saw looking like bone saw and all that stuff. So here we go. Dragon claw. Let's get this physical attack. Takes him out. One dragon claw. There we go. Look at that. And well, he's gonna be coming out with a gold bat. So we got the man for the job right here. Bam. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. So here he comes out with a Golbat, and of course Fluffle is not doing anything except chilling in his Pokeball until we defeat everybody. And uh, well, there's the Air Cutter, and uh, let's get with the Thunder Punch. There we go, Golbat has been defeated. Alrighty, and look at that, Fluffle grows to level 39. Great. And so let's see, Team Flare has been defeated. He's like, please take me on my conveyor to the world of without pants. Wow. Oh, wow. Why are you even on Team Flare? Seriously. All right, so let's move on right here. There could be some items that we can grab right here, like maybe mainly Pokeballs. And look at that. We found ourselves a Quick Ball, which we've already bought some. Now, off screen, I actually did do a lot of, uh, well, capturing a Pokemon, you know, trying to add to the collection. Uh, maybe, just maybe, I'm trying to actually add to, well, what am I trying to do right here? Hold on just a sec, I'm a little confused. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to evolve all the Pokemon that I can find right here in Pokemon X, and then eventually, you know, send some of these Pokemon over to Pokemon Sword and Shield when eventually, you know, we get there. And right now, I'm a little confused. There we go. This conveyor belt is just moving us along. And, well, look at that. Okay, so there's nothing right there. This guy right here, guarding this whole place, he's gonna be, or she's gonna be like, don't worry, be happy. Oh, wow. Very good words. Very, very, very solid words. And here's another Team Rocket, or Team Flare Grunt, and she's coming with her Scraggy right here. All right. Let's go. Let's get this whole, uh, you know, show on the road with a Dragon Claw. Let's see, Dragon Claw, finish him off. Nearly does it. And here comes that good gravy. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so uh, we, we, we we're slower than this guy right now, so he's going to be going with the payback. This might hurt a little. Not so much. And that Rocky Helmet does help us. And there we go. Dragon Claw does it for the win. Alrighty, look at that. And here he comes out with a mighty NSO. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Goku right here. Uh -huh. Jesus. Okay, so what episode are we on right now? Let's see. This is probably episode 32. I don't keep track, guys, until I actually post it up on YouTube. On the YouTube. Now, you guys have been noticing that I've been posting up daily during the weekdays. And quite possibly on the weekends as well. Trying to make this a more, you know, of a daily thing. You know, uploading one by one on every single walkthrough. Eventually, we will be done with this walkthrough, especially with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Easy walkthroughs that I said that I will be able to complete by the end of this year. But again, I'm hoping you guys are enjoying every single episode. I know I am. And look at that. We found ourselves a metal coat. Very nice item. So we can trade for, or we can actually uh, evolve a po like our, a certain Pokemon. But right here, you can actually get yourself a Steelix. So if you guys are looking for a Pokemon that evolves with a Metal Coat, go for a Scyther. If there is a Scyther here. Could be wrong. I don't know. All right. So let's see. There's no items right there. Actually, what am I doing right here? Okay. Hold on. There might be hidden items right here somewhere. I just want to be sure. So let's go ahead and grab this little bastard. Found ourselves a timer ball. Very nice. And, well, let's move on ahead and go upstairs and see what we can actually find. And let's see. What if we go this way? And, uh, yeah, this will actually lead us to. Let's see. This will change the direction of the conveyor belt. 
And, well, I guess I guess we're going to do that first. Hold on just a sec. Let's go ahead and press that button. And the conveyor belt has been reversed. Where does where will this take us? Uh, yeah, it will actually take us back. Or, you know what? Hold on. It will take us to this direction right here. And now we can actually go through this stairs. But hold on just a sec. Again, I'm trying to be... Uh, I'm trying to find every item. That way I don't miss anything. And this guy right here is going to be like... <laughs> well, he's going to be saying the same stuff. So now, here we are. Ball, ball, ball. Pokeball. Ball, ball. Ultra ball. That's right. Okay. Let's do this. We're going to win right now. Okay, so here he comes out with a big old swalot. No biggie. That's right. Bone saw's got this. Okay. Let's get this Dragon Claw going. Let's do this. Dragon Claw takes a good chunk, and this guy right here is increasing his defense. Oh, jeez. Okay, special defense. But luckily for us, we do have Dragon Claw, so that right there won't be as hard. And, well, we got one more move, and this guy's going for a body slam. Good gravy. And, yes, that Rocky Helmet does help us. It's a very, very, very good, uh, very good, uh, which we'll call it, uh, item to actually have on a Pokemon that's usually, you know, hit a lot. And it's actually very good if you put it on the Pharaoh Seed, too. It's a double combination right there. And, well, there we go. And, well, let's see. Uh, okay, so now we don't really have to do anything. I mean, we could go to the other side right here, but there's really nothing that you can do. This is the end of the line, so let's go ahead and, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go straight for Gaia 3, because we haven't used this guy in quite some time, too. Let's see what they're uh, cooking up. You see two, three Team Flare members? Come on now, work for Team Flare. If you just help out, we wouldn't have to carry all these Pokeballs by ourselves. Or, with a contri uh, contribution uh, of just $5 million Poke dollars, you could uh, become a member of Team Flare. It's a no-brainer. What in the world are you, Team Flare Fools, thinking? I'll never forgive any of my group or any group that tries to take all Pokeballs for itself. Forget it. Quit wasting your time on this person. I agree. There's no one that there's no one we can use here. There's no one we can use here. Let's blow this place to smithereenies. Uh oh. Well, what do we have here? An intruder. Well, hello, hello. You're one to talk. <laughs> you, please help me. Oh my, getting a little desperate, we are we, Mr. Company President? Well, I guess I'll just have to extinguish your little glimmer of hope. Okay, so, Lex, you said something about glimmer. Here we have Team Flare Admin wanting to battle, and she's coming out with her dragon. She said glimmer, okay? Mind you, she said glimmer. Alright, maximum effort. Fairy type Pokemon away. Let's get this, alrighty. So, Dazzling Gleam. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Very powerful and very destructive. Scraggy <laughs> defeated by. Oh, look at that! We get our Moxie. <laughs> Alrighty, so she's coming out with a Hammond Doom. Let's continue on the onslaught right here. Yes, sir. Let's get this. Here we go. Dazzling Gleam for the win. Oh, yeah. Very nice addition to this Pokemon. And here he comes. Oh, Firefang. You can't do stuff. So here we go, Dazzling Gleam again. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Defeated. Okay. And say hello to 40, level 47 right here. And, well, look at that. Kakashi grows to level 42. Very good Pokemon, and it's learning extra sensory. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to take away a move. We're going to take away Water Shiruken. Not much of a move right now, but I believe this is a move that will eventually, like, you know... I guess it's a move that actually, uh, is very important to a Greninja. And look at that. What? what And, yes. We earned some money. And she's got two Team Flare members right here. C come on! You wouldn't have to go all out for a pitiful prison like him! So lame. That's just embarrassing for an admin. Still, no worries, we're on it. This pair of scientists will clean them after you. Let's take them on two versus one. Bring it! We just we must improve our chances of winning. Ooh, look at that, the girlfriend's here. 
We'll see, we'll see about that. Sorry I'm late. There's another one? One kid or two, it doesn't make a lot of difference. When we're the ones fighting together, our odds of victory increase exponentially. You might want to check your numbers. Are you really even scientists? Can you help me fight them, neighbor? Hold on just a sec, got it. Hold on just a sec, let me switch out Pokemon. Okay, I think I know what Pokemon I want to use. Yeah, that's right, Goku, all right. All right, let's do this. Yes, let's do it. Let's go. Oh, yes. Here it is. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here we go. Team Flare Sel Celosia and Bryony want to battle. And they're going to be coming out with a Lifebird and uh, a main Nectric. Holy crud, look at that. Okay. Let's go. Alright. I got this. I got this. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and use that Mega Evolution, and well, let's go with an Aurora Sphere to Liford. Let's go. Oh yes, Mega Evolution. This is kind of like Super Saiyan uh, Goku right here. Alrighty, bring it. Oh yeah, Kamehameha attack. Finish him. Look at that, Liford defeated. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh yes. Look at that. We go levels. Bone Cell is going levels 2. And Magnetric is going with a Spark Attack right here. Of course, you're going to... Oh, crud. Yeah, you're going to you're gonna try and paralyze me. And, well, thanks a lot, girlfriend. You don't have to, like, uh... <laughs> you didn't exactly protect me just yet. So, let's go right ahead and use this Bone, uh, bone Rush right here. Let's go. And, of course, we're going to get attacked mercilessly. Here comes a Psychic Attack. Main Nectric, not so good. There's that uh, Bone Rush right here. Look at that. Hitting you with a bone. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We win. Okay, okay. Look at that. Even in Paralysis, we still win. And look at that. Welcome to the Level 40 Club. Fluff Bolt is now learning Discharge, which is a good move. I am going to take away Charge Beam now because it really doesn't need it. Eventually, we're just going to have like a very incredible move set for Fluff Bolt right here. And look at that. <laughs> no way, how lame. Probability, it's just a probability after all. Absolutes do not exist. That's right. That's right. Get yourself a girl like Serena right here, guys. Oh my, oh my. So lame. What a shame. We got beat. Enough already. We've already stolen the Pokeballs, Great Balls, and Ultra Balls. Well, let's call it good and leave. Okay, alrighty. So, after winning, the president is going to be like, You saved us! Thank you so much. You're an astounding Pokemon trainer for being so young. Very well, then. I want to show you my appreciation. I'll give you a Master Ball or a Big Nugget. Pick, pick whichever one you like. Of course, I'm going to pick the Master Ball. But here's the funny thing. You pick a Master Ball, he'll still give you a Big Nugget. Look at that. Got ourselves a Master Ball. And yes, we get ourselves a Big Nugget, which... Says it right there, you get big money for the big nugget. And of course, she will be getting that too. I just have a feeling that you two will put them uh, to good use. You're different from those uh, Team Flare people. Oh, and even I don't know a proper way to use a big nugget. Still, that blasted Team Flare. What were they planning to accomplish by taking all the Pokeballs for themselves? Gee, I don't know. I really don't know. All right, so we're going to be walking away, doing our thing, and uh, let's visit one last thing right here. There is one little detail, and that is this place. I do not know if there's, like, an item here that you can actually grab. Let's see. Uh, both you and your Pokemon should take a nice rest here. Oh, yeah. We get healed up, which is good. Very, very good. Okay, and, well, talk to this person. Team Flare, what, were, what are they conspiring to do? I don't know. I really don't know. All those Pokeballs are stolen. There won't be any Pokeballs to buy a Pokemart. Just one might cost a hundred thousand dollars. Oh wow. Damn. Okay. Or a million. Could be wrong. I don't know. Okay. Alrighty. Let's get the heck out of here. We got nothing else to do except to just get the GTFO right here. And uh, well, I probably shouldn't be doing that. Let's go right here. There we go. It's reversed. Let's go right ahead and, uh... Damn, try and get out of here. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. 
And here comes the Power Rangers. Hey, do you have? Do you think it's okay to go look around now? Yes, I think. And here is Kimberly. I'm sorry, Team Flare messed everything up. It's not a good time now. Team Flare? Have I heard that name somewhere? Would they be people in the red suits from a minute ago? That's right, Trevor. Team Flare! Da -da -da. They took all of uh, t the Pokeballs by force, but they're for every everybody to use. How awful. It seems like it would be best not to get involved with those guys. You're right, Travis. Team Flare sure is terrible. What should we do now? According to Team Flare, the, the, the town map, the dead... Did Din Din Dimily? I can't even pronounce that. Dinimily, Dinimily. I didn't. Even, you know what? Screw it. There's a town up next. <laughs> oh Lord. Okay, Sensei, you and Serena are really awesome. You're way stronger than those bad guys. Still, try not to do anything crazy, okay? See ya. Alrighty. That's right. Both girlfriends love me. They show concern. Thank you. Everyone's okay thanks to you. But if uh, I keep relying on you like this, I'm going uh, going on this journey will lose its meaning. Oh damn! Damn! Tell me how you really feel. Tell me how you really feel. And now we're getting a hollow clip right here, and it's from this person. We're bringing you a special bulletin. The Pokeball Factory in the area around Laver City has been attacked. The identities of those involved are unknown. However, this is not expected to have any effect on the sales of Pokeballs. Uh, you don't say. Okay. Alrighty. So we're done with that. We're feeling good. We got ourselves a Master Ball. Hey, we got a big nugget, so that means we're gonna get a bunch of money right here. And, well, that is pretty much for this episode right here, guys. Thank you again for supporting and all that crud. Make sure to subscribe and, you know, hit that little bell just to stay notified and all that stuff, because from here on, I believe it will be daily walkthrough videos of, uh, you know, Pokemon X, Heart Gold, L, Let's Go Pikachu, you know, those kinds of start. So, thank you guys again. I'll see you guys next time.